All right, skipping a few problems and going to ones that uh, might be of some concern, I'd like to take a look at problem number 24. This is a relatively easy problem, um, but you have a fraction, 4 ninths y, 4 ninths multiplying y, and that's equal to 15 fourths. All right. Well, if the goal of equation solving is to try and get y on one side of the equal sign, in other words, isolate the variable, uh, what we want to do is get rid of that 4 ninths on the left side of the equation. Now, if, if the number is multiplying the variable, what we would normally do is we would perform the inverse operation, the opposite operation. The opposite operation of multiplication is division. Okay? So you could say we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 4 ninths y. Well, it just so happens, divide by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Let me say that again. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 4 ninths is 9 fourths. So if we multiply this side of the equation by 9 fourths, and what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other, the effect of this you multiply it now, multiplying two fractions together, you multiply the numerators, so 9 times 4, which gives us 36. And you divide, and you also multiply the denominators, so 4 times 9 is also 36. So we have 36y is equal to, then we have 15 times 9, which is 135. And 4 times 4 is equal to 16. All right. Well, let's see. Something, number divided by itself is 1, so this becomes... 1 times y equals 135 over 16. And of course, multiplying by 1 uh, results in just the thing itself. So we have y is equal to 135 over 16. If I were to make that into a mixed number, let's see here. Uh, how many times does 16 go into 135? Well, let's see. Well, it's going to be less than 9, or less than 10, I mean, because that would be 160. It's less than 9. I think, let's see, if I go 6 times 9 is 2. Down to 5. Yeah, that's less than 9. 8. Let's see, if I go 6 times 8 is 8, put down your 4. It could be 8. So let's see here, 6 times 8 is 8, down your 4. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 4 more is 12. <clears throat> so, and then this is 7. Okay, so this is the same as y is equal to 8 and 7 sixteenths. And that would be the answer for number 24. Either one of these actually would be okay if we wanted to leave it in improper form, or if you want to make it into mixed numbers.